This is the first day of the rest of my life. I am a vessel, a jug to be filled with this rehearsal. I'm a change. Chef Dally, right? Playing Raby the Werewolf? Yep, that's me. Raby the Werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Raby the Werewolf. <laughs> How about yourself? I'm Astoria. I'm playing the female understudy. Cool. So, yeah, so here we are. Well, they have accepted all and for all of it. And I think, I think you really want to pay attention to it. Come on, make some noise. Grab a muffin. Let's get ready to mingle. <laughs> taking care of you? Yes, everything. These are designers over here. Oh, is, I, I'm playing Fred the Vampire. He's the lead. I'm oh, he's the lead. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you and Judge better have Hi. Hi, Hi Sheila. <laughs> So, are you the uh, star of this thing, or what? Oh, I'm not the star. I'm, I'm just, just an understudy. You look like a star, I tell you. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't think anyone's ever said that well. before. Hey, listen, you mind if I take a picture of you? I got my camera uh, here. Be my guest. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Sheila, give me a camera. Oh, yes. I'm going to take a picture of this <laughs> lovely young oh, star. Yes, you are. <laughs> Just beautiful. There we go. All right. Girl. Yes. Oh, just Damn. Boy, camera loves her, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. What's hey. that? Hey. How about two pretty, girls? <laughs> two pretty girls? Oh, two yeah. Two pretty girls. Oh. What happened? Yeah. Well, battery down. Oh, honey. Jack, come here. Come over here. Huh? I want you to meet Veronica. You've seen her in Sports Illustrated. Oh. At least parts of her. <laughs> My husband just loves naked women. <laughs> really? <laughs> All the boys are here. <laughs> so, uh, so are you a, a helper on this? Uh, I'm, I'm actually playing the female understudy. So. Oh, oh, well, so you are sort of a, a helper. <laughs> Well, good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, am I glad to have you all seated before me today. And I never thought that, that Carl Berkeley would be so surrounded. As you know, I'm your lead producer. But I am also part of your family. We are all family now, for better or worse. Which I guess makes me your papa. Papa Bear. <laughs> no, no, Papa Carl. My background actually is um, in the slots. I'm a gambling man. Casinos. I love taking risks. And maybe that's why uh, Broadway appeals to me. <laughs> I know how to beat these odds. Judd and Sheila, our biggest believers. <laughs> and we love uh, uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and so we love this. <laughs> we love this. <laughs> we love your passion, Judd and Sheila. <laughs> Mike and Bruce. Yeah, I'm Mike Reese. I'm a writer-producer for The Simpsons, and I guess we're here because I read this script, and it was just, it was just so funny. I mean, it's just such a funny concept. I'm Denise, Mike's wife, and as a former performer myself, I thought this could be a really moving play for people to see. I really believe that. Mike and Denise, yeah, yeah. Great. Oh, and on that note, I, I want to introduce to you the yin to my yang. No, no. Mr. Newt Balky. Thank you. Thank you. As you all know, I run an intimate 
closed, sacred rehearsal space. And no investors, no matter how much they invest, has a right to come into this space. It's a privilege that I give. I don't shy away from conflicts. I don't shy away from, from saying what is important to me and for the production. I know the producers listen to me in the end. It might be a bit of a challenge sometimes, but theater is, is like life. Life is not easy. So thank you. Thank you. But uh, I think we should move on to something more exciting. Shift gears and let's put on our vision goggles. Maddie, are you ready? Hello. Sure, yes. So, the set consists of moving blank screens. Onto the screens, we will be reflecting light, bright lights of different color. Now, we really wanted this design to have just a timeless, spaceless quality to it, just like the show will. And, and I think that we will just create a, a beautiful environment, a beautiful, rich environment for you all to inhabit. So, uh, will there be any actual set pieces and props? Yeah, uh, well, that is still up for discussion, but we'd really love to just stick with the timeless, ageless, shapeless feel that we have and just mime everything. So, uh, and that's more in keeping with Knut's aesthetic as a director anyway. Genius. Maddie, I always love your work. So, what we have here uh, is a new production. Something that's never been done before. We have a fetus, a tiny fetus, but a fetus nonetheless that we need to nourish, to give an abundance of life to. And you know what it's like to be a fetus. You know the need to be born, to be nourished. So there can be no miscarriages. There can be no abortions. We are going to nourish this fetus. We're going to give it love and attention until it's ready to be born on opening night of Twilight at Tiffany's. To life. <laughs> 